Hello, how are you today? I'm often asked which development board I recommend for beginners, for children or for, I don't know, teenagers. So far I haven't had a proper answer to that question, but now I do. I really like OxoCard. And I will explain you why. Here I have OxoCard Science. Oxocart artwork, Oxocart galaxy, and my favorite Oxocart connect. Don't get me wrong, these are not only for children's. I also had uh, lots of fun using this. Here is an example I made for this board. I will show you this later. So, why do I think these are great for learning? Well, because I've never seen an ESP32 board that is easier to use. Yes, all of this has two things in common. First is uh, ESP 32 microcontroller and second one is uh, this 240 by 240 pixels display and uh, usually when I get uh, a new board it sometimes take me a few hours to find the right libraries uh, or settings um, very often I need to install additional board definitions in Arduino IDE and find the right board settings and you probably all know that feeling. That can be very frustrating. But with OxoCart you don't need libraries, you don't need Arduino IDE, you don't need settings, you, you need just a browser. Yes, a browser, because the best way to program these is NanoPy editor, which runs in the browser. You don't even need a cable, because the code is uh, uploaded using Wi-Fi. If you don't have a Wi-Fi, you can use a cable, because there are two ways to upload code with USB cable and with Wi-Fi, but I used Wi-Fi to transfer my code to this board because it was cool. Programming language is NanoPy, which is basically simplified Python. And what I like the most uh, is that everything is here. Here you have examples, uh, tutorials, for each board you can find few games, you can check code, you can learn from uh, these examples and code. Here you have tutorials, uh, very good documentation, every function is described. You don't need to search for help on forums or, or GitHub or on, I don't know, on YouTube everything is here also your scripts are saved here in the cloud you don't need to save them on your pc so you don't need install anything you can basically go to any pc computer login and use your oxocard board i will show you a nanopy editor how it works in a second, but let's take a closer look on uh, these boards. So, these three are credit card sized boards. Galaxy board is made for programming games. We have speaker, accelerometer, five push buttons. And it is already loaded with uh, different games and examples. So, 
So board already came with three games and many demos. And you can check code for each of demo and each of game in NanoPy editor. For artistic souls, here is artwork OXO card. You can use it to make different animations, even 3D models and um, they have very advanced 3D library. I was very impressed. Artwork card is also followed with different examples which will help you to start. OxoCard Connect is very interesting board. Here we have also many fun examples. What is interesting here is this connector and you, you connect this breadboard module so you can play with your LEDs and uh, I don't know sensors, potentiometers directly on breadboard while you have this nice package. You can see that LEDs are also here. They have even this fire example. Check this 3D model. Created in simple code. This is newest board, so <laughs> I think that is the reason why these uh, examples are most advanced. Oh, I made something s similar to this a while ago. And this is OxoCard Science. OxoCard Science don't have mic uh, speaker, but instead here you have many sensors. So this card can measure temperature, humidity, pressure, or air quality, uh, amount of light, uh, noise because it have built-in microphone and and more. There is full list what it can measure on their site. Personal, personally, I I like this white design, and this is example I made for during my playing with Oxo cards. So this is simple project with, which will measure temperature and humidity in this case every 30 seconds and it will put values in this graph uh, plan was to measure every five minutes but for this video I uh, set measuring period to 30 seconds so we can see changes but that's why this graph is 
practically same values. Here is remaining seconds until next uh, measure and all values are scaled from uh, from uh, min to max. You can see that is pretty cold in my basement. And this car can also measure air quality and which was very interesting to me and you can see that here in my basement air quality is not too great so I can I need to probably open my window and we are back in NanoPy editor so I wanted to show how easy it is to use uh, my board this one is not connected to my PC using cable it is uh, connected to power bank and I can go to pairing and I need to open my editor which else is here and here is my code I need to enter and I'm in of course I will need to choose my language to English and now I can find some good demos for example this game I can learn from that code and I can run code and after few seconds my game is on this board so no more compiling waiting nanopi uh, oxacard company is i think from switzerland and i like how good documentation and how good examples they provided to users that is very rare these days everyone tried to sell, sell only hardware but few of them are are able to make something like this whole editor which run in browser and with vive high connection thank you for your time um, i hope this was interesting to you it was very interesting for me because i'm school teacher and right now we are programming micro bits in school where i work and i'm not very happy with with micro bit and kids are i think uh, micro bit can be very boring after a while but with this you can many more opportunities you have a real screen you can learn how to write code you can make games animations or you can play with different sensors or if you want you can connect different cartridges or this breadboard to your connect and play with LEDs, resistors and other components. Thank you. Tell me what you think and have a nice rest of the day. Goodbye.